So a question that has been asked time and time again, can you real mow tall fescue? Well, only one way to find out. Doesn't look too bad for some good old fashioned pasture grass, huh? Didn't get to finish trimming because my Ego batteries are dead. So those are on the charger now. So I figured it'd be a good time to talk a little bit about um, what I got going on out here. If you've been following the channel, you know I renovated from a Kentucky bluegrass lawn over to fescue, mainly because the bluegrass really just wasn't working out. Here in St. Louis, it's the summer patch and necrotic ring spot and all the disease and the heat is just way too much on it. Um, so what we got growing here is called Bonfire Tall Fescue, and then I also have a plot of Artemis growing on the side of the house. And I've been mowing this with the California trimmer, uh, just about an inch, maybe a little bit higher than an inch. Um, last time I looked it was just under an inch and a quarter, but I've been mowing that with the California trimmer. Now there's a couple things about the California trimmer that I modified before I decided to start real mowing. Uh, the fescue with that. So I basically modified the cal trimmer into a high height of cut. It was a classic. The highest that it would cut was just around, I don't know, an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. Now that's really kind of the, maybe the lowest setting, one of the lower settings you can do. It'll up mow up to two inches now. I wanted to do that uh, mainly because if I'm going to be cutting fescue low with a uh, real mower in the summer. I want to be able to raise my height of cut just a little bit and then in the spring Like right now I can get away with uh, a lower height of cut and then going into the fall, but overall um, Man, it looks awesome. It looks really good uh, I was a little bit overgrown. I hadn't cut this in about five days um, Which it really didn't grow all that much. It grew about an inch in that time uh, This is a compact fescue and what I mean by that is um, the way the fescue grows it's got a clump style kind of like ryegrass um, but the fescue definitely has a wider blade to it although the the blades on the bonfire are definitely a, a finer blade than kind of the fescues um, of uh, maybe what you've seen before on the older grass types. In order to modify the height of cut on the cal trimmer you really need to move the caster wheels down there's a couple of slots here if you can see inside of there you got to move the caster wheels down and then also with the drive train um, you got to get a longer drive train to kind of make up for uh, the height of the caster wheels but aside from that um, it's uh, it's really the same machine just cuts a little bit higher than it used to so overall the genetic color and the growing habits of this fescue is actually um, it's actually really nice it doesn't uh, it doesn't really show a lot of the same characteristics as some of the older fescues that were really wide bladed and they would exhibit a lot of top growth. Um, I definitely like the compact style of fescue and you know genetically the seed growers are really um, modifying a lot of these varieties to exhibit those types of things. What's most interesting is uh, the, the fescues with the slower growing habits are actually developed for cemeteries for um, the grounds crews at the cemeteries and not have to mow as much around headstones. I would imagine that that's Probably not the best uh, or the most enjoyable mow out there, having to mow around a lot of obstacles. Um, just mowing around a play set is uh, uh, not the best, at least not my favorite thing to do. I can't imagine mowing around, um, you know, thousands if not hundreds of headstones um, every week. So this is actually really nice. It, uh, it, I don't have to put any growth regulator on this for the most part. It just slows, grows kind of slowly on its own, even though I'm aggressively feeding it because this has been a grow-in, because um, I, I did renovate this in the fall, so this is all brand new uh, since last September, in late September I planted this. So far, I'm pretty pleased with the way it looks. I wanted to come around and show you the Artemis plot over here. Um, overall, really you can't tell much of a difference between the bonfire growing in the front yard and the Artemis on the side yard. I did think the Artemis greened up a little bit faster in the spring. Um, it looked really, really good. And then the 
bonfire kind of caught up and I now, I, you know, it looks kind of apples to apples to me at this point as far as overall turf quality, but uh, you'd be happy with both grass types if this is something that you wanted to uh, try and take on with real mowing tall fescue. But this is something you've been wondering about, maybe you've been thinking about um, if you have a fescue lawn that maybe you want to try a real mowing it, I will tell you that the answer is yes. It is possible. If you have been mowing, you know, say at four inches or three inches and you want to take it down to a real mowing height, uh, try to achieve that slowly. Don't just go in and do it all at one time and try to hack your whole lawn down. It's going to take some time for your lawn to acclimate to the lower cutting height, although it will uh, get used to it and it will look good after some time. But I've been mowing this lawn really low um, since day one, basically. So it's, uh, it looks like this because it's used to being cut like this. And then if you're thinking about renovating and you want to try real mowing tall fescue, which I know for some people that sounds totally ridiculous. It sounded ridiculous to me too when I first started doing it, but now I really enjoy it. Uh, there's two places that you can get the Bonfire Tall Fescue right now. Um, Twin City Seed Company and also United Seeds. Um, I've, uh, I talked to United Seeds into giving me a coupon code. If you wanted to go in and buy that, I'll put that down in the description for you. Um, and you can get it and plant this uh, in your own yard if maybe bluegrass just doesn't work so well for your region or Bermuda isn't going to have a long enough growing season. That's really kind of the sweet spot for, for fescue. Um, so overall, really happy with this. I have yet to put any fungicides on this yet, so we'll see what happens. There's still a ways to go this year. We'll see how the bonfire does throughout the summer at a lower cutting height as far as you know, it's tolerance for um, heat, heat stress. I'm not so much worried about drought stress because I am irrigated, um, but uh, we'll see how it does with its uh, tolerance to fungus and other things like that. Fescue tends to do a little bit better uh, than bluegrass and, and maybe rye um, when it comes to those things. So um, overall, I, I'm really enjoying this lawn. I think it looks really good. Um, eh, not too bad, like I said, for some good old fashioned pasture grass. So. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to uh, give me a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for more content for uh, one of the few people out there that are actually real mowing um, tall fescue. I guess we could just call this short fescue, but uh, like I said, this is a compact, slow-growing, fine-bladed, as they're advertising it, uh, turf-type tall fescue called Bonfire. So, thanks for sticking around, and I'll catch you in the next one.